Can you tell us about the rocket for the Shenzhou 14 mission? Technically speaking, this rocket is the same as the one used for Shenzhou 12 and 13 missions. The difference is, it's been on the launch pad since last August, meaning it's been on standby for about 10 months. This is the first time that a rocket is kept ready for emergency in-orbit missions. We've also been carrying out various checks during this time. What's left to be done before the scheduled launch? We will refuel the carrier rocket and check to make sure it's in a good condition. Now all systems are working well, and all devices, both on board the rocket and on the ground, are in good shape. So, do you have anything related with the backup of the rocket to tell us? When this rocket is launched, another rocket called Long March 2F Y-15 goes on standby. It's undergone all tests and is now in the launch area, ready for emergency rescue mission. While assuming all goes well after the launch, what happens next? We will first analyze the flight data and evaluate the results. Then we will check and carry out maintenance for all ground devices and prepare for the next mission. Also, when the Long March 2 FY-15 rocket is ready for launch, we will immediately prepare the next one as backup. The backup rocket is now being assembled and tested in Beijing. And how important this mission to the space station? It's very important for the construction of China's space station because it's the first manned mission. During the second half of this year, we will initiate the launch of another manned mission. There will also be two space lab launches. And then the first stage of the construction of China's space station will be completed.